Well, I am going a whopping 20 miles an hour down the shoulder in a tow truck that is malfunctioning. It is barely holding 20. Went to the shop for this exact same issue. They said it was fixed and it's zero degrees out. So once it dies, I am in the cold and frozen and gonna die. Uh, we're starting to die again. We're picking back up. It's just, this is getting exciting. Let's see if we can make it to the holiday. If it's even open. I gotta pump some heat in here while I have it. And now it is dead. Cruising down the highway in the middle of nowhere, coasting in a tow truck that is dead. I'm clearly not going to make it to the next exit. All right, let's, uh, let's, we're not making it anyway. Let's put it in park and just try again. Let's try to keep tootling along, see if we can get anywhere. Ooh, we made it past 10. Past 20. Well, looks like we're not getting to 30. But at least there might be some hope for getting to the next exit here. Maybe I can get to, looks like might be a holiday up there. And so I got it started. Barely enough to be functional. But enough to get my car off. Chugging hard. All right, smoking a lot. Turn the PTO off. All right, at least it can get towed now, so we'll just leave it sitting here running. Just for shits. Yeah, it's got like no power. The balls are all gone. All right, so current time is about 2.50ish in the morning. I am in my little Ford, one of my various vehicles. I have heat in here. I've managed to get it off the tow truck, so that's all good. We're not gonna freeze. It's like zero degrees out right now. Extremely cold for some reason. So we just got to wait and sit here for, I think, 20 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, whatever, until uh, Twin City Towing shows up. And uh, then we'll uh, get it loaded up and get it back to the shop I just came from. That's what I would have done, is just flip it up at the exit. How's your night going, though? Oh, it's 
I had like a couple a couple hours that were really slow, and then it got super busy for a while, and then it just died again. the ignition or the cup holder. Sounds like neutral to me. Those little cradles make it super nice. I don't have to mess around with all the extra little toe points and everything. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna pull up to the fall and then we're gonna flip those shots. Alright, here we go. I am not wearing a seatbelt. Uh, basically, the plan is since it's rear wheel drive and we're so close to the exit, uh, we're gonna pull it up to this holiday up here and uh, flip it around so we can actually tow it from the rear so the fronts are rolling, so we're not actually uh, spinning the transmission while the engine's not running. Because that's bad to do when you don't have the uh, engine running because the accelerator or the, uh, the coolant pump and everything isn't working, so it just uh, could damage it. We'll see what's up. super dark hopefully this video turns out we'll get some more light once we get to the gas station here Homemade. <laughs> A little bit bigger than mine. Yeah. How long have you been towing for? Uh, almost 10 years. Nice. Yeah. So I take it you enjoy it then? Yeah. It pays the bills. Yeah. Something different every day. I'm actually looking at starting my own company. Yeah, hey, so, good for you. Got pretty much everything set up. All I gotta do is uh, decide a name and uh, find a truck.
even have tilt. Duty stuff. Yeah, I give or take. You know, it's a mix of both on nights. You like the heavy or light stuff better? Depends on who, honestly. It don't matter. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's nice just to get a flat bed and you know, go do your shit. Cause you're you like flat bed or record better? Oh, flat bed. Flat bed. I don't mind the record. Yeah, we got a couple guys like that too. Oh, I don't mind the record. So, yeah, I mean, he's throwing. I mean, it, it kind of depends on, uh, like, you never know what jobs you're going to get. So. Flat better record is better for whatever job, right, but yeah, you, know, like, you just don't know. If you know. I got a good wind challenge, you know, I'll take a record all day. Shit they can do. Like the 70 ton rotators? Well, not even that, you know, just like our regular fucking, um... how much power you can get out of just like fluids. Mm -hmm. You ever use the uh, the semi attachments for heavy duty? What do you they, mean? they put them on the back of like semi trucks and it's just like the attachment that's basically like this. Oh, yeah, we got one of them. We bought no Suburban. We have one of those, but I, it's at our Dayton shop. And I haven't used it yet. I've used, uh, I've used uh, probably twice. I've used one of those. Uh, Did you come out of the, uh, the, was it the Oakdale lot or the, the 94 and Snelling lot? Our Blaine truck. Oh, Blaine? It's right down, uh, Drive. Do you know if they could still got the uh, the army truck sitting in the 94 and Snelling lot? They had the five ton with the crane on the back for the longest time. Oh no, it's probably not anymore. Probably sold it. I think I saw it sitting at Twin City uh, Towing at one time, or Twin City uh, Wrecker, oh, yeah, off yeah. Of Maryland. All right, maybe. All right. What? Is it still running all? Yeah, 50 50. I can't remember how tight the rod is. Um, if you. Yeah, there's not really a good place to turn around in there. Uh, just, just the way that that road is and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And they got all the trucks, there's not. And off we go. There's probably four miles back to the shop. That's all I made it. It's gonna be uh, super tight getting it in there, so uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to figure something out for that. All right, uh, we're rolling back to the shop. It's about four miles from uh, the exit I made it to. Uh, maybe a little more. Five miles, six miles, something like that, whatever. But uh, we'll we'll get there. We'll find a place to put it. Hopefully, it's not too tight to get it get it in there somewhere. But if we have to drop it in the overflow lot, then that's what we gotta do. All right, it's gonna be very tight to get in here. So uh, we're about to find out just how maneuverable one of these heavy-duty wreckers is. is a tight parking lot. 
they do uh, they do park a lot of things really close together and not a lot of room to get through so it's a big load for uh, this truck or not a big load for the truck it's a big truck for the parking lot so maybe we can uh, drop it in there and it might run enough to back it into a So now that we're at the shop, runs fine. Isn't that just how it goes? Now that we're here, it's 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 fine. All right. I'm leaving it here though. I ain't driving it back. Yeah, I have a six on two. The other day, yeah. fucking up all on two, so I'm stranded. So I'm not a fan. I wish I didn't sell my Duramax for it, but I'm parking it exactly where I picked it up from. That's it. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see how far it makes it. What? Oh, you saw it? Alright. So, of course, now that we're actually at the shop, the thing runs. I'm not gonna try to go highway speeds in the parking lot, but. That's stumbling a little bit, but I'm going to park it exactly where I picked it up from a little bit ago. There, done. And that is it. I'm done. I'm leaving it. They can deal with it. And that is the end of my involvement here. So now I'm on the way back. Uh, it's probably a 40 minute drive back to my house from that shop. Um, I don't know what is going on with the truck, but I don't want to give the impression that uh, the shop is a bad shop or anything. We go to them a lot. If you recognize that parking lot, you'll know which shop that is. Uh, we go to them a lot. They're, they're always uh, pretty quick to get our stuff done and they always do a really good job, but once in a while, you know, these things happen. So I don't, I don't want to give anybody the impression that if you recognize the shop, that's a bad shop or anything. Sometimes things just break down and it happens when it happens. So uh, it's about, probably about four o'clock in the morning right now. Go home and see if I can get some sleep and I'll be skipping a few of my morning things tomorrow.